Hey everyone, this is All Things Tekken, and in this video we're going to be talking about ultra short throw projectors, but not really concentrating on the projector themselves. I've had loads of questions over the last few months after reviewing the Vava 4K laser projector and also the Optima P1 or the UHZ65 what screen is best to use with them. Now, it's very important that you choose correctly because you'll be amazed if you make the wrong decision. It could be absolutely catastrophic to the type of image that you get produced. Okay, so when we did the review on the Optima P1 and also the Vava 4K, we used the Floor Rising electric screen from Vividstorm. Now this is tab tensioned and it's designed to prevent wrinkles, curling and creases. And I didn't appreciate at the time how important that was. Now, I'm not necessarily promoting this screen, although I'm very pleased with it, but what you need to be aware of if you're using an ultra short throw projector is that you do have to have either a screen like this, which has got that tab tensioning, or it needs to be a fixed screen. And the reason for that is that the image that will get produced with a normal drop down screen is absolutely horrendous. And I'll show you that in just a second. Now, at the time the guy from Optima dropped off the P1 to me, he asked what screen I'd be using. And at that particular time, I was still waiting for delivery of the Vividstorm. He then said, you will not get a decent picture with my drop-down screen. Now, I thought maybe he was just exaggerating a little bit and that I would give it a go anyway. So I had to wait a few more days for the Vivid Storm to arrive. And as you can see, when it did, it's producing this type of image and it's absolutely stunning. I love it, it was brilliant. There was no issues at all. But what I didn't realize was how right the guy was about a standard drop-down screen. Let me show you. Now for this experiment, I'm using my studio and the drop down screen that I've got up there, which I really just use to review standard projectors. And I'm using a very, very budget, less than a hundred pound projector to demo this. Now, as you can see, regardless of whether it's a good or bad image, it's producing a steady image. And what I mean by that will become obvious in just a second when I turn on the ultra short throw. But if I zoom in, then you'll see that the edges are fine. There's no movement. It's all pretty straight. And this is on the drop down screen and what effectively you get is a hell of a lot more forgiveness when you're projecting from a distance compared to when you're projecting via an ultra short throw now this part of the video is really important look at those wooden lines going to the edge of the screen now just remember that because when i show you the difference on the thousands of dollar projector which will be underneath in a second you will be absolutely amazed and remember guys i'm using exactly the same screen and i'm using it on exactly the same day there are no differences at all Okay, then it's time to turn on the ultra short throw. Now, I've already spent about 20 minutes trying to get this image as straight as possible. You can see it's not too bad along the bottom, but just have a look at the top and look at how wavy that is. It's absolutely horrendous. Now, I can't get it any better than this. I've literally tried for about 20, 25 minutes just using the little pointing system to pull out the screen. And look at it on the edge there, how it tails away. It is absolutely shocking. I've moved the projector. I've spent loads of time trying to get it. And this is actually the best that I can. And when I show you the same video which I showed you a second ago, you'll know exactly what I mean. So guys, now look at that wood on the edge of the screen and how it almost looks like it's curving down. That is absolutely horrendous. And the reason for that is that there is just a slight, a very, very slight curvature to the actual screen that comes down. And so therefore it's impossible to get a decent image. And what you'll also find, and where I mentioned earlier that this sits in front of a window, is that any slight movement, whether there be any draft at all, it's accentuated probably about 100 times, and it looks like there's an earthquake going on in the image. It really is very, very noticeable. Now look at this image here. This was me just as I was starting to set the screen up. And as you can see, it looks like it's just moving horrendously when in fact there's just the very, very slightest draft coming from the fact that this sits in front of a window. And it's not at all noticeable on a standard throw projector. 
So my friends, the point to this video is think very carefully when buying a projector, what that you're going to be projecting against. Now, if you are determined to get an ultra short throw projector, as this video demonstrates, you do need to either get one of probably three things, a floor rising screen like I've got here, the Vivid Storm, which has got the pro tension tabs and so therefore creates a brilliant image. A fixed screen, which is going to be there all the time, and again, is going to be stable and give you a brilliant image. Or you can obviously just project against a wall. Now, these screens are not cheap. This is the ALR101 from Optima. Now, this retails for around £1,200, which is going to be around $1,400. The Vivid Storm screen, which I've got, retails for around £1,800 to £1,900. Pounds. But there is an advantage to this one. It's ALR, so it's ambient light projecting. It's also got those tension tabs, and obviously it's floor rising, so it doesn't need to be up all the time. If you've got a dedicated cinema room, then just get a fixed screen. Otherwise, consider something like this. Guys, I hope this video has been helpful for you in choosing what you're going to be using. Let me know if you found a screen that you think is great in the comment section below. But guys, have a great weekend. I really do look forward to seeing you on the next video.